Thanks, Lee. Welcome out to Dozer Park. Thanks for joining us. We started a new homestand in front of our dugout. I'm Nathan Beliva with our manager, Chris Swagger. How you doing? Very well. How are you? Good. Energized after uh, the off day yesterday? Yeah. Uh, sure. Sure? Yeah. No, it was. Uh, we got in pretty late uh, with Sunday morning. I don't think I got in bed till like 4 a.m., so I uh, had a nice little noon wake-up call yeah. from uh, Randy Neiman, uh, who's in town. He was letting me know he was coming, and uh, I was dead asleep and just said, okay. So... <laughs> That, I think he's here. That's your good answer, right? Yeah. Just, okay. so I was like, yeah, sure. Oh, it's fine. It's Sunday, and it's an off day, and, and you're not my mother, so not really interested in talking to anybody. But no, mom. Another phone call you had to make. Yeah, I yeah. did, but, like, she got a little fired up at me because, you know, she's East Coast time. and Oh, uh, and you weren't awake early. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, I didn't call her till like, 3, 4 o'clock, and I think she, you know, like. Thought you of, forgot? Well, no. She would have called me before she. Before she gave up yeah, on you. Yeah, exactly, but, um, you know. I think clearly my younger brother's the favorite child. Now. Oh, at least for like a yeah, day or two yeah. until he does. You got to find a way to. Yeah, he'll. Well, I mean, he'll take care of that himself. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, I just I think being away from home makes me the favorite child. So. That's, that says quite a lot yeah. right there. Uh, good road trip for the Chiefs. Four wins in a row to, to finish, and in all four games fell behind and, and battled back. A couple of those with runs in the ninth inning uh, or, or tenth inning in the case in Bowling Green. You had to be pretty happy with the, the way that road trip ended up and, and the fight that these guys showed in those last four games. Yeah, I think uh, one of the big things that I, I know you've heard me talk about it a lot uh, that we preach is just like being able to finish games, you know, through 27 outs or 30 outs, if we go like, whatever it is, but just uh, playing until the last out is recorded. And I think our guys are doing uh, a very good job of that. I think we did a good job of that last year uh, when we had some success in the standings. And so, um, you know, just how these guys continue to play regardless of the score, kind of taking every at bat and, you know, every pitch uh, and every play on defense as its own entity, I think is a really good thing and a really positive, um, you know, attribute for our club. And to go and, and beat two teams that were both red hot and Bowling Green, including when they beat us the first two days, we won 10 in a row. We beat them on Wednesday. Dayton was 9 out of 10. We faced the guy there that was throwing 101 uh, in the last day. And, and to be able to beat a couple teams that were playing good baseball says a lot, too. Yeah, uh, I, to be completely honest, I had no idea until you just told me uh, how hot those teams were. I, uh, that's why I didn't tell you ahead of time. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Um, but I, I think that's, like, kind of the approach that we've taken is, you know, regardless of what's happened, like, we can't control how good teams are. Yeah, we, we've probably lost to some teams that came in and, and were on, you know, a few game losing streak. So I think each individual game is its own, um, you know, chess mass and match and entity. So um, I like what our guys are doing, kind of taking it a game at a time. And I know that's, like, super cliched and uh, a lot of coach speak, but, you know, that's – really like in a 140 game season how you you know have success and especially in player development since you got that cliche out of the way you can't use it again um so i'm gonna throw another number at you that you might not want to hear but starting today we played 24 games in 21 days because of the three double headers that are coming up from games that were rained out in april um so how do you approach that with a bunch of young guys who have uh, not gone through that before or do you not approach it at all? Well, they don't pay us to have off days. Right. So, I mean, you know, we're going to earn our money, um, you know, these next, would you say, 20 days? 24 games in 21 days. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think, uh, you know, ideally we would look at it as it's just an opportunity to showcase and get better. Um, you know, what we're trying to do here is, you know, develop players. And, you know, the best de player developer is the game itself. And so, um, you know, yeah, guys are going to be beat down. They're going to be tired. Um, you know, some pitchers are going to be extended out maybe farther than um, is ideal or they wanted to. But I think a lot of our guys are going to find out a lot about themselves. Um, and, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get to see, you know, how much they really love this game because we're going to be playing it a lot. Roster looks a little different than the last time we played a game in this ballpark. Juan Yepes, who was still hitting what, 430, uh, got promoted after the game last Sunday when we were home against South Bend. Zach Kirtley took his place on the road today. A couple of familiar faces, Jared Davis and Matt Fiedler back uh, in the roster. Unfortunately, Evan Figueroa got hurt in our last game in, in, in Dayton, and uh, we got a couple uh, couple new pitchers too. So how do you kind of integrate them in? I, I assume JR and Matt will be a little easier. Yeah. They, they played in this ballpark more than some guys that have been here right. since opening day, and, and uh, you lose that battle. Like like Juan Yepa is, how does that kind of change the complexion of this team right now? Well, I, I, like you said, like those guys have been here. Um, you know, they know what we're all about and they know how we play. So, um, you know, that's a pretty easy transition. Um, and, you know, we'd like to think after, you know, six weeks of a season that uh, the guys that have been here all season are pretty much in the same kind of mindset. So uh, they should assimilate pretty easily. Um, 
you know, as far as like new pitchers and stuff like that, like it's kind of pretty uniform, you know, throughout the organization. And that's a really good thing, um, you know, regardless of what level you're at, like the expectations uh, and what's being taught is pretty consistent. So um, it's never really, you know, a challenge to get new guys in here. You know, we got to go over the signs, but um, you have you've seen me for two years. <laughs> like I, I don't really put a whole lot on, you know, and most of them are pretty obvious. So, um, you know, a lot of times I just do a lot of dummy signs. And, you know, are, they, are they listening no, they're not, to They're this? not out here. You're good. Okay, perfect. We'll, we'll erase this from the internet. It yeah, I mean, like, not, like, <laughs> you know. Do you, do you know the signs? I know two of them. You know two of them? Yeah. Okay. Th- Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, speaking what, of what people, are they? What's, what no, sign, I, what signs I, do you know? I don't, I, don't do the, I don't do a test. I just, I, I can tell from upstairs what you're going to do. This is not a test. It's, gonna do. In front. it's a conversation. You, yeah, I know. Um, speaking of people that are familiar to this ballpark. Good pivot right yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Alex Reyes on the mound today. He pitched for us the entire 2014 season. He's obviously been up in the major leagues, tasted some success, and now trying to work his way back up. So number one, whenever we have any rehab, to get them healthy. That's right. Um, but number two, what do you want your guys to, to learn from, from watching Alex, the way he approaches things? He was in their shoes and actually is even younger than some of the guys on our roster yeah. today. So yeah. what do you want them to learn from, from him in that clubhouse? So I think, um, you know, he's already done a great job just coming in and going about the way he's gone about his business, the way he's been in a couple of – we had a, some administrative meetings today, uh, and he was in there, right? Um, you know, in, 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 in helping our guys out. So it's like um, I think it's a great thing – that a big league guy can come into a minor league clubhouse and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And that's exactly how Alex has been. I think um, as far as, like, performance, um, you know, like you said, we're, like, we want him to have a good outing. We want him to get out of this healthy, um, you know, and, and, and be better and be able to help our club in St. Louis. Um, but, you know, for our younger guys to see and be around a guy that was in their shoes, what, three years ago? Four. Four years yep. ago, so I mean, I, I think sometimes they lose sight of like how close they really are, um, and you know, Alex is a great reminder of you know like how um, you know like the big leagues looks far away, but you know it's actually kind of closer than you think, especially if you perform. Back home now for a full week, playing a couple teams that uh, we haven't played yet this year, but we're going to see a lot of over uh, the next couple weeks as we're back into our division. So how does uh, how do you guys approach that? And just kind of from a scouting perspective, I know I, I, I've asked you this before, but for the, the fans that, that haven't heard the answer, from a scouting perspective, as we're playing teams in our own division, we're going to see Clinton seven times, I think, in this 21-game stretch, King County again right after that. How do you guys kind of approach that and, and take notes on guys and, and put that into, into planning? Yeah, so the more games we play against them, obviously we're going to get more information. We have some stuff uh, within our own database that kind of gives us a, a general picture of what the guys can do. But, you know, in all reality, when we get to, you know, playing teams that we haven't actually seen on the field and haven't, is, is more worrying about ourselves and pitching and, and hitting it, it, playing the game to our strength um, until we get, like, a better feel for the team that we're playing. I think, uh, you know, in general, like, that's probably the most important thing in baseball is to know who you are as a player so we stick to that, um, you know, pretty hardcore until we, um, you know, get enough information to get an actual good read on the team, and then we'll kind of adjust to them. But um, I think controlling what we can control with our own game, uh, individual games, is is what's always the most important. Sounds good. Let's uh, let's keep it rolling out there tonight. Sound good? Thanks, Nate. All right. Thanks, Appreciate Chris Swagger, our manager. As we get ready for this seven-game homestand, we're home all week, 11 a.m. tomorrow and Wednesday, and then 6.30 Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 2 o'clock Sunday. we got fireworks coming up on Friday and Saturday as well. Thanks for coming out, spending your Monday with us here at Dozer Park.